For today's video I wanted to do a assumptions slash what do you think about me video I saw this video going around on YouTube and I thought what a better way to interact with my subscribers or followers um, other than interacting with them on Instagram and asking them asking them what did they think about me or what is it that they thought when they saw me so I just want to do a little disclaimer before the video begins saying that if your assumption please don't be offended um i just tried my husband and i were looking at them and he helped me choose some of them and we just wanted to get like the more i guess drama ones <laughs> or the most interesting topics to talk about because most of them have been things that i've talked before in my get to know me or in my q a's so i will link all my q a's that i've done before if there's anything that I didn't answer and you still want to ask me more go ahead and comment down below I'll be sure to check in the the comments so without further ado let's get right into the videos so I wrote my assumptions down in a little paper because um, there's some juicy ones so I just want to go ahead and get started so the first one says I assume that you don't leave your house without any makeup and i chose this one first because it is actually hilarious that people would think that because if you guys met me like on real life you guys would know that i 95 percent of my life don't wear makeup so when i wear makeup people are like girl <laughs> What the hell happened to you because i don't wear makeup 95 percent of the time i feel very comfortable with my skin and i don't have the most perfect skin as you guys know i have dry skin but i don't know what it is i just feel comfortable with my own skin and i love makeup but there's times where i just like i just want to breathe i don't want to wear anything so yeah so the next one is, I assume that you are very independent. And this is a question that caught my eye like that because for you guys to think that I'm very independent, like I am. I'm, I'm one of those like real ass bitches that doesn't depend on anyone. Like if I need to get shit done, I get shit done. Like I don't rely on anyone. And sometimes it can be a good and a bad thing because if you're so independent, you start thinking that you don't need anyone. And we always need someone in life. So we should never think that we don't need help or we should never be afraid to ask for help. So I guess that's one of my New Year's resolutions to not want to do everything myself and kind of, you know, let others help me. But yeah i'm very independent so it just like it just blew my mind that you guys caught up to that because i am like i feel like i don't really rely on anyone and like we're saying if i'm stranded and i need help like i'll get help like fast so next one is i assume that you are like a real bitch in real life so i guess this person means like not like a bitch like you know like a female bitch but like I guess she feels like my attitude is bitchy in real life and I gotta say like I don't want to be half I don't want to half-ass it to you guys there are times where I can be in a bad mood and you know I get to meet someone and they're like the way they think about me now is different because of that one time that I was in a bad mood but I'm only human and I feel like we all go through those phases where, you know, we're in a bad mood. Like, it's not like, holy shit, she's a bitch, you know? But, like, <laughs> I don't go through the world treating people like I'm, I'm bossy or bossing them around. But, like, you know, everybody has that one day in their lives where they feel bad. And then somebody sees them and they're like, oh, my gosh, she's a bitch. I've had 
rumors of that been made like for ages people always say i have a bitch resting face i always like look like i'm pissed I, some people have even told me i'm terrified of you you look like such a mean person and i guess i'm just used to myself like i don't see it like i don't feel like i'm 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 like that but i guess i can see how people can think like oh my gosh she's a bitch but <laughs> I don't take it in a bad way so i know she was like she dm'd me like two three times which was like please don't think that i hate you please don't don't think that you know this is personal or anything she was like it's just you know i i guess she was playing so the next assumption is i assume that you will go far like in youtube thank you girl um i i've always loved youtube and i know my channel is like super like small or whatever but i do have dreams of one day my channel getting you know like a lot more subscribers and i know it can be like a lot of boring stuff that i do so i get why you know my channel hasn't like boomed and there's people who make like super interesting content so i want to be there one day i want to be able to provide interesting content for my subscribers and i know sometimes it's hard for me to know what you guys want to see that's why i always always invite you guys to comment down below and let me know what is it that you guys want to see next assumption is i don't assume and I never will but i think that you are a super powerful woman whom doesn't give a fuck i don't <laughs> i mean i there's times where i do feel powerless because i'm a human but for the most part i feel pretty content with whom i am and I never doubt myself like I never feel like I can't do something there has been times like that I do feel low like you know we all go through that little funk phase but I definitely have myself well round I feel like I have a well-rounded like circle of friends that always push me up and they always make sure that I click back to motivation and that I don't dwell myself in that funk forever so i'm pretty thankful i feel like my circle has built me the way i am and i am comfortable and i am confident and yeah thank you so much for your assumption the next assumption is i assume that you aren't very trusting like you don't just let anyone be your friend this one was very interesting to me because it is mainly true i don't just trust whomever i just don't go to whomever and tell them my life i am very hard to trust like when it comes to friends and circle and the people that actually come to my house it's like like my list is this big <laughs> not a lot of people get to be where i am i guess because i don't know i'm very I'm very I guess like like scared and I don't like I don't open up to just anyone you have to be like somebody that I know you know that I can trust in order for me I, I can't even find the words but the question I mean the answer is yeah I'm not I just don't let anyone be my friend like I'm very picky about my friends and the next assumption says, I assume that you're kind of sassy, almost can come off as a show off. So this question is important for like, I guess it's important to answer because I get this all the damn time. Like I can't, I can't live a little because people are always saying, oh my gosh, she's such, she's such a show off. Like, oh my gosh, she's trying to, you know, she's trying to show it off or whatever. And... I guess that I just, it's not that I'm trying to show it off or I don't know if I come off like that, but I feel blessed like with everything that I have, like I feel fortunate to have what I have and I'm sorry like if you guys at one point felt that I was showing it off or that I was, you know, trying to make it seem like I was better than you guys, I am just a human i'm just just like you watching so i'm nothing special 
I'm no one famous or I'm no one important. So I don't feel like I show up, but <laughs> it was interesting to see that. So I don't know. Next one says, I assume that you are making coffee. This one made me laugh so hard, you guys, because at the moment when I read this, I was actually making coffee. So I don't know if that's creepy or I should, I should laugh. Next assumption says, I assume that you have lip fillers, but won't ever tell us. I get this like all the damn time. Every time I post a picture on Instagram, because that's like my main posting site. Um, every time I make a tutorial, every time, you know, I put a picture on Snapchat, I get like snapbacks and I'm like, Hey, where did you get your lip fillers? Who did you go with? How much did you charge you? And I'm like, girl, I don't have lip fillers. I freaking wish I had lip fillers. I don't. I just really know. Honestly, I just really know how to overline my lips. I feel like I can actually be confident and say like i'm a pro at overlining my lips because i get that on a daily i i've always had if you guys saw the 10 year challenge picture that i posted i've always had like a real big under lip but my upper lip ha has always been like super thin so this is like the one that i wish could be a lot fuller like right now i have my lips overfilled if I smile, if I tilt my head a little bit, it looks like I have super big lips, but I don't. I just really know my angles. I know how to work the camera. <laughs> um, but no, I really like to, you know, play with that. And I love the fact that one day I can have big lips and then tomorrow I could just be me. I love that about makeup. Next assumption says, I assume that you want more kids and this one touched home so bad guys because um, I obviously always envisioned myself to have four kids unfortunately um, this is it like I'm only having these three kids I'm not planning on getting pregnant anymore I'm currently on birth control TMI but I'm currently in birth control and my husband is also protecting himself so no more babies for us and the last assumption is it the last go ahead and check okay yes this is this is the last assumption i wanted to leave this one to the end because it is on a daily that i get this and um i don't know why you guys would feel that but the assumption says i assume you show too much like of your life your ring in capital letters and everything you have, you show too, too much. That's what she put. Um, and I guess I can come off as I'm showing off too much, but honestly, you guys don't get to see everything that goes in my life. I feel powerful, like to the point where I can choose what I show you guys and what I don't, because I don't share like, like probably 75% of my life I don't share it with you guys um, and that's something that I wanted to address also because I always get DM'd on my beauty Instagram which is the one I tag with this YouTube channel I have a personal Instagram but I also have a beauty Instagram and I also have a planner Instagram my beauty and my planner Instagram is for anybody who wants to follow me if you you're into planning you can follow me if you're into organization you can follow me on my planner one if you're into beauty if you're into reviews if you're into products if you're into things that i buy like i don't know like lotion or whatever you can follow me on my beauty instagram now my personal instagram is my only like seriously it's like my only gateway to my family members that don't live close by I have family in Houston, I have family in Austin, I have family in Guadalajara, and they're all over the place. So most of the times we don't get to interact with one another, we don't get to call each other every day, we don't get to show our kids milestones and share them with each other because we don't live close. So my personal Instagram is strictly for family and my close friends. 
Some of you have DM'd me about, I added you or I requested you on your personal Instagram and you never accepted me. And I've gotten so much like backlash over that. I have, I've had people unsubscribe and unfollow me because I don't accept them to my personal Instagram. But like I was saying, my personal Instagram is just strictly for family and my closest friends so if I don't accept you into my Instagram, I am so sorry. If anybody gets offended, I'm so sorry. But on my personal Instagram, it's strictly personal because I post a lot, a lot of pictures of my kids. I post pictures of me and my husband. I post pictures of me and my family, of me and my in-laws. And of course, I don't want to be sharing that with the world because just because I decide to sit in front of a camera and talk to you guys doesn't mean my family or my in-laws or my kids want to be on camera. So I always just ask you guys to be very understanding with that. I don't want to put my kids out there because I don't. That's like period. Like there's no more to that. So please be very respectful. Please be very understanding that I don't want to put my family out there. Not even my kids because my kids are young right now. So they don't get to choose whether they want to be on camera or not. My in-laws, I don't want to put them on camera because I don't know if they want to be on camera. And I just don't feel like invading their privacy would be the right way to go. So Please be very understanding. If I don't accept you in my personal Instagram, it's because I don't personally know you. So don't be offended. Don't feel like I hate you. Don't feel I have like anything against you. I don't. I just have that Instagram strictly for my family. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. So much for sending all these amazing assumptions. I wrote them down, you guys, because... <sighs> There were so many and so many good ones. Let me know if you guys would like a part two of this video. My husband and I were having so much fun reading some of them because some of them were actually funny. And yeah, he helped me choose the best ones. And like I said, if you guys want to see a part two, please don't forget to thumbs up or comment down below that you want to see part two. Thank you so much for everybody that sent questions or assumptions. And I just loved interacting with you guys. I hope you guys want to see a part two because there were so many that just had to stay out because it was a really lengthy video. I couldn't obviously put a hundred assumptions in this video because I would never be done. So from the bottom of my heart and for my husband's because he also helped. Um, thank you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.